And welcome back to part 12 of What If Naruto Had the Rinnegan. Last time in the Naruto What If, Orochimaru had inflicted the curse mark on the Sasuke. He had recovered, uh, he has recovered relatively about the same, although he's doing a little bit, he did a little bit better because Hinata was at least able to slow the spread of the curse marks influenced by sealing off the chakra points around his neck temporarily. They were, they fought, fended off the sound ninja attack. They got the proper scroll. They got to the, um, excuse me, the tower. I think that's what it's called, the tower. Um, and they, I think words here. Uh, and they were able to get there several days early. They were able to get Sasuke help for the curse mark. Obviously put the seal around the curse mark. Uh, I, also uh, talking to Hiyashi, uh, the idea of the, uh, the Byakuan being able to maybe help out in some way. And should note that Jiraiya, I'm guessing Jiraiya was probably there. Because it actually, that all happened, that entire tournament happened within the same day. So it's, Jiraiya was probably there. So he might have been there a little bit early. For the sake of this, they did get Jiraiya there to help out as well. So the seal is extra enforced at this point. And so, uh, Hinata and Naruto had a nice little cute <laughs> flirty moment there. Acknowledging that they kind of like each other. Now. We get to the actual tuning exam part. Now, this is the one bit of house cleaning that I want to get to before we uh, attack, go into the in-depth who would win, or who would win the in-depth what if, is that uh, I've had more than one person um, uh, within recent times talk about how, why I don't randomize the tuning exam. Why, why, why isn't it uh, the same, uh, why is it always the same people if they... The results are randomized. Shouldn't every single time I do a new one, shouldn't it also be randomized? Keep in mind that in the story, those are the names that came up. Even though it's randomized, for the randomization that happens within the storyline of Naruto, those are the names that came up. There is, so far, I have not done a what if where there has been a drastic change in the lineup of the. Um, in the lineup of the people who are there, present, and accounted for for the tuning exam. So far, it's all been the same. Uh, now, don't get me wrong. When I get to who would, what, uh, I keep saying who wins. When I get to what ifs that involve, like, say, Sasuke dying at the wave, uh, Sasuke or Sakura dying in the land of wave or something like that, or a character who, uh, any, any what if that results in one or more characters not being there, that's when the randomization changes because you now no longer have the same amount of names. So, it, it things have to be different. Um, but until I get to a what if that does that, and yes, by the way, there, there are already people who have given me those, you can give those suggestions you want, but just, you know, don't worry, those suggestions exist. Uh, but until I get suggestions that actually have the impact on the story and, their, and the randomization process, we still go with the order that was randomly generated in the actual story, because nothing has changed to change that order. With that being said, we get to the tuning exams, and they explain, no, there's too many people, we gotta weed it out, we, or, um, we gotta cut that, cut out to, uh, cut you guys out of the equation, or, you know, what does he say, um, weed out the chumps, you know, cut down the, um, cut down the grass, so to speak, uh, we, we got, we gotta, uh, you know, slim down the pickings. Uh, and so they all go up, and immediately Sasuke, they look at the first match, so, and say, oh, it's Sasuke, and I believe it was Yoro? Uh, hold on. Kabuto's team. I always forget this because I know one of them is Yoro. Kabuto's team in Nar... Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, Kabuto's team... Uh, let's see. Team Kabuto. Here we go. What are the names again? It was Yoro. Yoro was the one who could absorb Chakra, and it's uh, Mitsumi who was the guy who could do the whole um, soft body technique. Um, so... Naruto, Eds, and Yoro uh, square off. Now, Orochimaru is obviously there, waiting in the you know waiting in the wings. I had contemplated whether or not Naruto or Hinata would pick up on Orochimaru being there because they can see Chakra. Rinnegan, I think, can see Chakra better than Sharingan can. It cannot see it as well as the Byakugan can because the Byakugan, Byakugan works very differently. Uh, but the thing is, Hinata, despite the fact he not, Hinata's eyes always look like the Byakugan's on, they're not, his Byakugan is not always activated. You, you need the vein, she needs to actually activate it, so Hinata would not notice Orochimaru there. But what about Naruto? And I had to think of that for a second. 
And I, I came to the conclusion that while he might get the impression that sums up, like he might sense something's off, he doesn't have the sensory capabilities that Karama would allow him at the moment. And he can't see, like, Chakra in the same vein that uh, he not again. So maybe he might get the impression something's off, but he's probably more paying attention to Sasuke, and so I just root him on this, uh, rooting on his friend here. So, no. They don't know that Orochimaru's there. So, the fight get, breaks down, and immediately, you know, him and Yoro are immediately duking out like they do initially, but Sasuke's not being hindered. And Orochimaru's noticing this, and he uh, takes a moment when he gets a chance to look at his neck, and he can see there's not, there's a fairly intricate seal around the curse mark, to which Orochimaru just uh, kind of grimaces, like, uh, they got, uh, they got here early. They were able, they were able to neutralize the seal. They, but no matter, the seal, they cannot remove my seal. It's only a matter of time. Uh, and then he realizes also, like, wait, no, it's more than that. Sasuke's chakra isn't acting up at all. But, and he can see the intricacy of the seal and realizes that, uh, dry ass work, no doubt. Uh, curse, curse that old toad. Um... Meanwhile, the fight's going on, and Yoro eventually does start to grab Sasuke and start draining Chakra. And uh, he let in, but Sasuke's quickly is quick enough to uh, recognize I got to get out of this. He has his shard gun activated at this point, and just you know quickly spins, twists, kicks, uh, and is fires off a fireball jutsu. Yoro uses both hands, holds out his hands, and starts grabbing the jutsu. Keep in mind, he doesn't have the true pre-path ability that the pre-path does. He has just a similar ability. So whereas the Predipath can actually absorb could absorb the fire job ball jutsu completely and be fine, Yoro doesn't have that benefit. His hands are somewhat burnt. His you know his his glasses are hot from the intense heat. You know he's he had to deal with a lot in there. Um, so he's now looking he's like you bastard. You bastard. You think that you, is that the is that all you can do? And then all of a sudden, you know, Sasuke <laughs> kind of disappears out of sight for him. He just moves, starts moving pretty fast. Like, I don't know where'd you go? It's like, I'm over here. No, I'm over here. And Naruto's like, the Shadow Claw Jutsu? And, you know, Yoro just swings at one of the Sasuke's who, you know, blocks, but then just smiles and just fizz out. It's like, no. And K Kakashi correctly points out, no, it looks, seems good. Seems uh, K uh, Sasuke's are using only the clone Jutsu. Although he probably is... Uh, probably well equipped to learn the uh, Shadow Clone Jutsu as well. He doesn't have the same res uh, chakra resources you do, so learning the Shadow Clone Jutsu or the multi-Shadow Clone Jutsu probably would be a bit more da uh, dangerous to him than it would be to you. Meanwhile, Sasuke's just screwing around with Yoro at this point, and eventually he does, you know, uh, uh, Lion's Barrage! And, you know, boom! And uh, Rock Lee correctly points out, wait, that's that's my move! Even then, back then, he copied it... Uh, and so the winner is Sasuke Uchiha. <sighs> so everyone, you know, is clapping, happy, whatever, uh, cheering, or whatever they want to do. Uh, then you get through the couple matches that don't change. Like the Shino match doesn't change. The uh, Shikamaru match wouldn't change. Uh, Ten Ten versus Tamari. Although she might be showing off a little bit for Naruto and Sasuke, <laughs> just a bit. Uh, but that doesn't change at all. I'm trying to remember any other matches that had, uh, that came prior to that. I think they we got through them all. But the Sakura versus Eno match. That one is different because this Sakura, while still very much fangirling over Sasuke, has had the tutelage of Kurenai. So when their fight begins, it starts off about the same. Like, they're just, you know, going back and forth a little bit. You know, that doing the you know, close hand-to-hand -hand combat. And... This Naruto is still like, oh, they're really going out, huh? And, and Ten Ten correctly points out, they're pulling their punches. Um, and uh, Sasuke's like, yeah, Naruto, take a clo clo uh, closer look. He's like, hmm? And Naruto looks closer, and he does realize, like, yeah, something's off here. Like, yeah, it looks like they're going into a tense fight, but they're really, like, they're not putting their whole uh, A game into it until um, they can see that Sakura is doing something. And he's like, I got you. And he's like, no, you don't. He's like, no, hold still, forehead. Uh, and then finally, he's just like, you think, you think you're better than me, huh? No, he, Sakura? Now, keep in mind, Sakura had cut her hair short only because she had to. Which, no, she didn't. Uh, I've seen so many people point out, like, you could stem in the leg, in the, in the, in the hip, in the back side. No, you cut your hair. Okay, whatever. Um, but I could see Eno kind of like just trying to show Sakura. I was like, 
Ha! You think my hair's that important? And then finally snagging Sakura's like, got you, Sakura. Uh, I, or, I got you, forehead. Mind transfer jutsu! Boom! And the, But suddenly, suddenly, it doesn't work out. She goes, She's back in her body. And I was like, wait, what's wrong? What's going on here? He's like, well, what's wrong, Eno? You know? uh, I thought I thought you had me. He's like, well, you boom, boom. He's like, what? What is going on here? What? What? What are you doing? What are, what are you doing? Um, well, it you remember, you need a target. And then the target, and all of a sudden, soccer starts to fade away, and the cherry blossom, cherry blossoms, and um, you know, you know, it's like Kenji, is, that's correct. To which like, oh, to which Naruto, Hinata, and Sasuke can see through the Genjutsu. Um, and they're just like, oh, Sakura's got actually gotten a lot better. It's like, it, 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 to, yeah, and you wouldn't know really from personality. And even Kuro and I, uh, you know, kind of speaks up. It's like, you're not wrong on that. Sakura's got more than enough talent to surpass someone, even, surpass even me in Genjutsu. Uh, it's like, Really? Really? Are you that good, Kurenai Sensei? And Kakashi I was like, Kurenai is actually the top Genjutsu user in the village. And for, for you to say that Sakura's got more potential than you, that's saying a lot, Kurenai. Yeah, if only I could break her of that fangirl habit. No offense, Sasuke. None taken. Uh, uh, it really is hampering her progress. But <clears throat> that, as Ina's just he finally is able to uh, breaks out of that Genjutsu, Sakura's already layered a second one where the, the tree is like, give up, Ino pig. And say, no, no, I go. But all of a sudden, Sakura's no longer there. Just, what? Huh? <laughs> Sakura's still standing there the whole time. She's hopping a little bit because even though her control is great, and Genjutsu is much more attuned to someone who's got better chalk control than reserves, still, those are like, especially like the tree one. I know that one's a high level Genjutsu. But, um, yeah, she's just that. Uh, it's like, I win. The uh, Eno has surrendered. The winner is Sakura. I did it! You see that, Sasuke? I'm awesome, right? It's like, uh, you did, yeah, you did, you did it okay. And it's like, ah, you see you gave me the compliment, not you. It's like, oh, and Eno's just kind of pouting and huff. You don't get that reconciliation, you do, the, the, in the original. It's like, they're, they're still at odds in this version. It's like, uh, it's like, uh, and, Sar and Naruto kind of just puts a hand in his head. It's like, I am so sorry. Sorry for you. So am I. Uh, so, you know, goes up and kind of pouts, and you know, sorry, and you know, Naruto kind of sees this, and Hinata sees it, and Hinata just says, like, hey, and, you know, it's okay. You did the best you could, no matter what, and that's all. That's all any of us can do is the best we can. You you couldn't have uh, imagined Sakura had grown that much. It's like uh, whatever. It's not the, the big deal. I just can't believe Forehead finally beat me. Well, then just get, and then Naruto points out, then just get stronger than her, and then huh? Uh, yeah, if she got stronger than you now, train till you're stronger than her. And then she'll probably surpass you. You can surpass her again. That's the way rivalries work. <laughs> Is that right, Sasuke? It's like, it's like yeah, whatever, Dweeb. <laughs> well, actually, he probably doesn't call him Dweeb. He probably calls him more loser or whatever. Whatever, loser. Oh, yeah, what? Uh, you, yeah, say, yeah, you you lo uh, love our rivalry, Duck. But what'd you call me? What'd you call me? It's like, and they catch it. Mm, but it's more of a, <laughs> but there's a grin on their face. Like, and so, you know, can kind of, I can see their rivalry and actually see what a healthy rivalry what rivalry looks like and he actually has a smile and he's like naruto uh, is it's sasuke mm -hmm. thank you <laughs> hey sakura uh, sakura's still kind of gloating he's like, sakura it's like hmm? i'm not gonna lose to you next time you better be ready next time we we meet up because next time because uh, you're gonna be fighting a whole new girl you got a, a whole new kunoichi. You got that? And, and Sakura's a little taken back. He's like, yeah, whatever, you know, pig. I can actually see Sakura gaining a bit of an ego here. Um, so keep that uh, keep that in mind, definitely. Uh, so now we get into Naruto's match with Kiba. Now, Kiba's relationship with Naruto, we've never really addressed it in this version, I don't think. We know that Kiba looked down on Naruto in the original series because he was the dead last, the loser, all that. We know for a fact that Naruto is not in this version. He wasn't necessarily at top of the class, but he was close to it. Um, but I have, I get the impression that Kiba, because of the whole alpha dog mentality he has, would still look at Naruto and say, "Yeah, I'm the top dog around here." You, you always spout all that stuff about being the Okage and whatnot. Um, uh, uh, that you're going to be the Hokage and whatever. But guess what? I'm going to be Hokage. <laughs> so, yeah, are you ready? Are you ready, Naruto? Like, 
yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> He's like, yeah, bring it on, Kiva. I've actually always, I've actually been interested in seeing how well I'd uh, match up with you. He's like, uh, you ready? Uh, ninja, uh, beast, mimicry style, fang. Beast, uh, can't, it's beast mimicry. Anyway, uh, man beast jutsu. That's it, man beast jutsu. And you know, he try, tries to rush Naruto, but Naruto actually can dodge the attack. He's got, he's very good with his reflex and all that. So just. Whew. Now, Naruto's also got to keep in mind, too, he's got to be careful not to show off his Rinnegan. And Naruto's trained very hard um, to use other techniques, not just his Rinnegan abilities. And he knows that anytime he uses his Rinnegan abilities, that his Rinnegan actually does flash and is visible. So he's got, so unless, unless he keeps his eyes closed while he does it, he can't, uh, he, he's got to be wary about not to use his Rinnegan abilities. His elemental ju jutsu or all of his other jutsu, those are generally okay. He, sh he should be fine. Uh, but meanwhile, he for dodges... I say that because he dodges um, Kiba's strike only only for him to basically... It's basically one of those things where it's just like, ha! And then Naruto's hands like right to the side. It's like, huh? Jail pump! Poof! Uh, so you learn, you, so you learn a uh, technique or two, huh? It's like, actually, I knew that from the academy. Good. Oh, yeah? Come on, Akamaru! Uh, it's, like, ruff, ruff. it's like, this one's new, though. <laughs> Shit. A lightning thread jutsu and just selling just <laughs> <laughs> and both him and Nakamaru are just shocked. They both kind of struggle to get up. It's like, Ugh. Oh, you think you're cute, huh? All right, fine then. Akamaru here. And there's, like, <laughs> and there's just roars. Turns into the Kiba clone. Is there like, uh, ninja are fang over fang? Like, and now Naruto's just like, oh crud. Uh, uh, mud wall. <laughs> and all of a sudden they crash into the mud wall. Though the mud wall probably would not hold. Uh, they would probably break that thing down enough. However, it, it was it's more than enough because what Naruto was really aiming for was to uh, you know make, make a couple clones, get, basically get ready one with a gale pump because he can keep three clones activated without being um, or two clones activated still without um, it causing a lot of dizziness to him. So he's got one hand ready with the gale palm. He's not going to be using a fire just because he doesn't want to kill Kiba, but he's got the other one ready with the water. <clears throat> Actually, I can see him having just two uh, gale, just one big water juice array, just putting a lot of chakra behind it. It's like, we got you! Water style, wind style, collaboration jutsu, hydro surge! Boom! <laughs> <laughs> just hit him and just. <laughs> just they both hit the wall, just. <laughs> now, Akamaro is, I think, stone cold out at this point, just. <laughs> Kiba's just like, uh, you. It's like, yeah. It's like, wow, you you really are a tough guy, Kiba. But I, got, I, I really got to give it to you. Hell, you almost had me on that first hit. And if I wasn't for my mud wall, I probably would have uh, had a pretty big problem there. Uh, you're definitely pretty. You're definitely pretty strong, Kiba. Uh, uh, but you can't beat me, no matter what. I'm the one who's going to be Okage. Believe it. It's like you. I and then which to which Naruto holds his hands. Like I really wouldn't do that if I were you. He's like, what? And it's like. Uh, this entire battlefield is, uh, is soaked, including you and Akamaru. And you already saw, I know lightning jutsu too. So what would happen if I were to use lightning jutsu, my lightning thread jutsu right now? Uh, it's, <clears throat> do you think it would be, do you think that'd be a good idea? Would it, do you, Kiba? <laughs> and because and I can see Naruto very, especially a smarter version of Naruto like we got here. And a better strategist. Definitely um, using uh, using the environment, use, doing something like that to his advantage, because he doesn't want to hurt Akamaru any more than he has. At least, really got, actually, I would imagine Naruto actually likes dogs. Um, I don't think I don't think he likes cats. Ever since uh, dealing with Tora, but I would imagine he likes cat uh, dogs just fine. I, I would see Naruto as a dog person than a, more than a cat person. And no, that has nothing to do with the fox. That just his personality strikes me as more as a dog person, whereas someone like Sakura or Sasuke strikes me more as a cat person. Uh, Hinata, you know, that's a, that's a good question. Let me, I'm, I, we're getting near the end too. I mean, I still got to talk about, um, Hinata's match, but, cause everyone else's match will be the same, but Hinata's match is next. Hinata's a weird one. I could see a cat or a dog. I, I could see her just, right, you know, playing with a dog. Absolutely. Kiba obviously is a dog person. Shino, I would say he's a cat person. Choji's a dog person. Definitely. Shikamaru, I would guess cat you know, I don't know about. You know, I could see a cat or a dog. I could. Uh, Lee is definitely a dog. Neji is probably a cat, and Tenten is probably a dog uh, person. Anyway, 
Uh, so Kiba's finally just, yeah, you bastard! And he just picks up Akamaru's, like, I, I give up. It's like, Kiba, surre Kiba Akamaru surrenders. The winner is Naruto Izumaki. All right, yeah, it's like, way to go! It's like, yeah, that, that was pretty smart. Clever, t uh, clever tactics. Thanks, Sasuke. Uh, it's like, the next match is up, and they look, and Hinata's eyes do widen. They don't go, like, bug. It's like, <gasps> she's not sharp, but she's, she's like, <clears throat> As, and uh, Sakura looks and sees uh, oh, Sakura. Uh, Sasuke looks at uh, Hinata. Hinata, you all right? And he's like, mm, I'll, I'll I'll be fine. And Naruto looks at him and realizes like, it's him, isn't it? Is he? Like, mm. And so is it him? Who is like that guy we met in, uh, we met at the beginning of the exams? That Neji guy. Uh, from little Nar Hinata said there is some bad blood between him and Kakashi and Lee both explain the you know the whole. Hugo main branch versus the branch family and you know the whole issue going on there now neji trying to psych out hinata and getting her to quit he still does that he tries the difference here is it doesn't it doesn't affect her anywhere near in the same way she, because this hinata is far more confident than the hinata we had in the original series thanks to having naruto in her life giving her encouragement being friends with sasuke even being on relatively good terms with any of the girls in the class so she's had a lot of friends she's had a lot else she's gotten a lot stronger <clears throat> and she does have a couple extra jutes under her belt particularly the uh, uh light, white lightning and lightning threads uh, add on to the fact that she's gotten sh her chakras, as I'm sure I've gotten stronger. She's become more skilled with the gentle fist. Uh, and she, her just, her belief and her confidence in herself is just better now. It's stronger. Now, that being said, it's not that say that Neji's words don't have an impact on her. They do. She's, she doesn't, she's not doing that whole, <laughs> just, oh, that didn't sound right. But, um, but doesn't, just, you know, she's that, that freak. Of, but she's more just, she's still uncomfortable. Definitely. It's more just, she, she just kind of wants him to show up. It's like, it's like give up. And, like, and Naruto's getting pissed off too. But before Naruto can really uh, chime in, it's Hinata says like, that's enough, Neji. It's like, I'm not going to, you don't get to talk to me that anymore. I know you're upset. I know you're angry about what happened. Uh, and, happened. and if I could change, if I could change uh, the way things are, I'd change it a heartbeat. I don't, I hate to see you suffer. I hate to see you in pain. And I hate to see what that pain has done to you. But I will not allow you to uh, take that pain out of me anymore. I am not a Hyuga. And I, and I am not a Hyuga. And I will, and I will, uh, and I will fight, uh, fight you, fight you if I have to, brother. So stand ready. Um, so, and yeah, you know, Hinata and Sasuke are just like, yeah, you go, Hinata, woo! It's like, very well then. And so the fight begins. And immediately, it's, it's remember, even in the beginning of the fight, Shino even put, uh, points out that he, she, Hinata was, in fact, giving Neji a, a solid fight for a little while. Until, basically, Neji was pointed as like, no, you can't be, you can't beat me. So, add that on to a more experienced, more confident Hinata, and Neji quickly realizes that, uh, 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 so I I can't get a solid striking on her because she's actually putting me on serious defense at the moment. It's like, damn it, damn it. All right, fine. I actually have to take it up a notch. And he starts to press the attack more. And she's now struggling because now she's got to block more. His strikes are faster. But unfortunately, as he gets in for a strike, and he not a, instead of using gentle fist, he uh, says, the lightning style, lightning thread jutsu. And it's like, ah! and he's because he, he's right there, he does get shocks, which allows Hinata to get a solid strike right in his solar plexus, uh, solar plex, and, just, ah, and he's, just, ah, he's able to smack her hand back, like, and she's, she's now like, her hand actually goes limp, just, ah. well, not her hand, but, um, like, she, he hits her right, like, right in the wrist, and, like, her hand feels numb. Like, she could still kind of, like, move it. You ever, like, uh, lay, accidentally lay on your hand while you're, like, asleep or something like that? And, like, oh, the blood kind of gets caught. So it's really stiff, but you can still kind of move it. That's kind of what it feels like for Hinata. And she obviously got hit in the, um, I think where it is there. The chest shoulder area right there. Again, she can still use her, like, she's the only a few chakra points that have actually been hit so far. But more importantly, Hinata really shook up Neji with the lightning attack and then got a serious strike right in the sternum, right in the solar plex. So he's, he was, he's actually coughing up blood a little bit. And he was like, uh, yeah, no, Neji, I'm sorry. I did, I, it was, it was reflexive. 
uh, please give up. I don't. I don't want us to hurt it. I don't want to. Uh, this to go any further. Has to be. Like, <laughs> you. Th you think just because you got a lucky shot, you can. You get to just dictate how this fight goes. No, like, no, he not a. The only one dictating how this fight ends is me, and then he just rushes back in. Of course, he stumbles. He does stumble a little bit. <clears throat> He's confident a little bit now, and his movements have slowed enough that he not a can now keep back. I uh, can keep up again. Get him again. Except he is. She is now struggling because she's her hands numb and she got hit right here. He gets another shot, a couple shots in the ribs. She goes again for li uh, lightning thread jutsu. Unfortunately, uh, it, it kind of fizzles. Like, no more lightning. <clears throat> you won't be doing using any more lightning he uh, this time, Hinata. And you know he comes in, strikes her. This time he strikes her straight in the shoulder and pretty much just. Her arm goes dead. dead. Uh. Fortunately, though, she's in, in the dumb, numb hand. She like forces Chakra back into that point so uh, it, she can kind of move the hand and feel it again. And she's able to kind of smack him in the side, this time in the ribs. Just, uh, and, you know, he kind of goes flying back. Now her arm's just done. She's She's got the uh, the pins and needles in her hands. Uh, uh, and it's, uh, it's over. Uh, uh. It's over, lady. It's it's over, Hinata. Give it up. You're you've lost complete use of your left arm. You're only barely getting use out of the right one. And, it, it, and even if you could land a hit well on me, it would I, I have I would be able to block any severe damage. It's over. Why fight? Uh, why? And he, you know he does the whole fighting the losing fight thing. Uh, you know, struggling. I can see it on your face. You're struggling more. No, brother. You're the one struggling more than me. And it's like, Ugh. and you know, he charges in again. He charges, but he <clears throat> coughs up some blood. Like he, he's got internal injury. Like he, he's hit solar plexus to the side. There's some internal injury there, and he does struggle. It's like, Ugh. it's like, it's over. You can't win. And Hinata's making sure not to go for a vital point as she just is. She's holding out her last trump card because she can, she can barely do anything at this point. But she's got still chakras she can flow through her arm, um, her right hand. And she's just, the lightning! And then, boom, she hits him right through the shoulder as he's about to strike. Just, bah! He's like, what? Uh, and, you know, uh, uh, you, you underestimated, brother. Did you, and, and she just uh, think, uh, looks at him and just, you, I, did you really believe it was that was the only lightning technique I knew? And she just, you know, because she basically now just burned a hole straight through his shoulder, his shoulder, as he was attacking, he just drops, and she just comes in with that final shot, like, huh? boom, and just, again, making sure to try to avoid his heart and all that, hits him on the other shoulders, and he goes spinning, just, boom, boom, he just hits the fucking, uh, 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 he can't, it's like he's trying to sit up, just, uh, and, then, and and he nods out, just like, okay, I'm done, like, uh, she says, like, please don't get up. That's what she's thinking. And, you know, um, Hayato goes over there and just, um, you know, ex you know, looks on over and is like, Neji Hyuga's unable to battle. When is he not a Hyuga? Like, and Naruto's like, yeah! Woohoo! Yeah, that's my girl! <laughs> Sasuke's like, yep. And it's like, huh. and everyone's just like, yeah! And, but unfortunately, you know, she's got, <laughs> she caused up a little bit of blood. Um, she's, she's also kind of effed up at the moment. Nowhere near as bad as Neji got effed up because of that lucky strike again to the, the, the vital areas. But, you know, they, uh, no, Hinata, are you okay? Naruto and Sasuke both go down and check in. I was like, I'll be fine. Is Neji okay? He's got some internal injuries, definitely. He's going to need some treatment, but he'll be, he'll should make it through. Uh, though I will say that uh, this will probably leave a scar. It's like, you should probably go get checked up too, you know? We all made it through. Yeah. Uh, so to end this off, let's just. Fast forward now as Hinata goes and gets some treatment. Uh, obviously, the Rock Lee fight happens and the uh, Choji fight happens. And that all goes the same. What happens now? Because we have Hinata and Sakura in the finals. And that, that changes things up. It does. Now, here is a scenario where the randomizing can actually come into play. Now, I'm not. I will say this. I will say the Sasuke Gara fight still happens. That one I think still happens, and I'll even throw in the Shinsuro Konkuro fight. However, I think I would actually put the uh, in terms of like the randomization of Naruto and everyone else fighting. I think surprisingly, 
I would like, I will have Tamari and Naruto fight, Shikamaru fight Dosu, and Sakura Hinata fight. In terms of when those fights happen, I'd go, um, <clears throat> uh, we'd go Hinata versus Sakura, the uh, Sasuke versus Gara fight, Kankuro versus Shino fight, the uh, Naruto versus Tamari fight, and the uh, Shikamaru versus Dosu fight. I might have to write that down just for my memory's sake, because I don't usually randomize it up. But if it were just Hinata going, and that's it, I might just keep the matches the same, Hinata taking Neji's spot. However, in this case, we have two different people going there, which makes it a full um, full roster this time around. So, yeah, um, I feel like it actually is prudent to keep it uh, a bit different. Uh, but that is where we're going to be leaving off at the a little over 30 minute mark. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know if you'll review of it at some point. Ideas for who would win. Star Wars, Severe Magic, what if, anything new in the channel. Put that in the comments below as well. Look at that at some point. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hit that bell if you want to be notified. Later.